Uh, welcome to everybody on YouTube. We've got a lot to choose from this morning. I know Mayor will be excited for that. We've got about three or four stocks that are considerably down this morning looking for a possible short opportunity here if we get the right engagement of the stock. And there he is. Good afternoon. Looks like a sunny it's day good. by you. Hey, it is. <laughs> yeah, it is here in Berlin. Uh, flew over this morning, just landed an hour ago and ready to work. I really like the fact that there's a lot of pre-market movers, like the one I just posted. Here on the left, Netflix down 10%, continuing to come down. Here's how the daily looks like, weekly too. A bit concerned of a pullback, but we'll see about that. AMRN is down 9%. Again, take a look at the daily, moved up uh, very strong recently. Usually creates quite a lot of fear when the stock is moving up that much. There's a lot of people who are buying it as it's moving up. Now it's down another 10%. I mean, it came down from the highest, it was $24. Now it's at 19 So that should create a lot of fear. So AMRN should be my main candidate, and I love the fact that I'm seeing it moving up. Well, we should definitely short it. I just wish it's not going to trigger really soon. So under the lows, 1910, I'll take a very small size trade in case it comes down now under the lows. I'd rather see it moving up first and then coming down. But if it comes down now, I'll take smaller than usual size. It's getting there. It's about to. I'm getting ready to short. I'm short. First few minutes, always very, very tricky. Uh, stop is over the high, so no big deal with the stop. 20 cents stop. Thinking about reducing my size in AMR and this one. I mean, I was hoping to sit under the lows. Did not get there. Okay, I'm reducing my size right now at a loss of, um, I don't know, 3, 4 cents. I will be shorting uh, Netflix if it comes down under 3.26. Yeah, I will join you here. Netflix stop is going to be over the high, so take into consideration a $3 stop loss. AMR is going the wrong way. Did not work out. I'm going to stop it really soon. I'm stopped AMRN. I uh, had a very small size loser in AMRN. It's going the wrong way. Watch UNH for a possible short under 261.50. Uh, Netflix does not want to trigger. We'll wait for it. Watch UNH. Again, small size, big stop loss. About $1. I'm short UNH. UNH looking good. Oh, lovely. UNH. Any sign of pullback? Oh, beautiful. Two points. Now, took my partial in UNH. Wonderful trade in UNH. Watch Netflix. Uh, 3.26 remains my short entry. About to short Netflix. We take it at 3.26 now if it comes to 3.26. Expecting a breakdown under the whole number to be quite violent, so may want to short it at 3.26. Short Netflix. Getting close to the two point profit in Netflix at two points right now. Netflix might have found some support here. Let us, I want to take off some Netflix here. I can't, I can't hold it to the rows. I'm taking uh, out some Netflix here at the profit, a bit less than two points. And I'm leaving more than my usual for the breakdown. I also took uh, a bit larger size than I usually do on a stock like that. Not because I thought it was a great trade, although it is looking good. It was a mistake. I just clicked with a bit larger size, so I'm feeling better now, <laughs> reducing some of my size. It's funny, you know, I could call this a mistake, although it's working. But the thing is, if I would have started with less size, I would take less risk and probably survive the breakdown with smaller size. And that is just because I'm not mentally capable of waiting for it to come down to the lows. Okay, here comes Netflix. Great. We're going to deal with the two th 323 now. Now, after reducing my size, I feel much more confident and uh, letting it uh, try to move under the 323. I should have been here with the, with the lower size, taking my partial probably around here and not a dollar higher. And the results would have been the same and I would have taken less risk. I mean, still is a great trade, but did not play it right. Okay, if it moves over 322, I take my partial. About to take my second partial in Netflix if it goes over 322. It's quite clear it found its support now and the market is looking for a new high too. Well, we did give it, give it a chance. I'm, a, I'm, I'm just right now just moved over 322. It found some support here. No reason to hope for it to come down anymore. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. But I do have an amazing winner with Netflix. We've got uh, an IPO. And, okay. Um, 
it looks interesting. Uh, third one minute candle traders, and it already has almost 3 million shares in volume, which is great. And it's up 15% over the IPO price, which is great. So I'm going to post it over 25.75. It's about to trigger. Watch it. Small size. It's at the highs. Did not trigger. Now I did. I'm long. Did not make much over the highs. That's not a good sign. Usually when they do that, you expect them to run faster over the highs. It did not take much size and I'm reducing half here at a loss of uh, just a few cents really. I don't think I should uh, remain with the size I started with when the stock is uh, not moving over the highs as strong as I was expecting. If AMK comes down under 40, I'll be out. I'm out. Took a loser. Shame. IPO that did not produce. Well, traders, I think I should uh, call it a day. Just had a loser in AMK, $800, AMR, and two trades, $1,200 down. Netflix, told you earlier, a bit of a bigger size than I should have taken. It should have been around half of that size, half of that, uh, half of that price, but um, almost eight grand in Netflix. That was amazing. UNH was a great trade. URI, two trades, one loser, one winner, but finished in red. Uh, USB still running. I'm going to finish my day over $8,000. For me, it's a great day. Um, enjoy your day, traders. Uh, it was fun, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you for trading here with me today. Glad we had a very nice day. Thanks, guys.